EaseHorns.com, Pro Tools 9 and 10, free class tutorials, beginning, intermediate, and advanced, MIDI. Hey YouTube, this is Whitney Russell with DSHorns.com. Uh, today's video is going to cover the MIDI. And this is just for the beginners who don't know anything about MIDI. If you want to really know how to work MIDI, um, go ahead and and go to my intermediate and advanced MIDI. That'll tell you a little bit more. Right now, I'm just going to tell you just simply about MIDI. The definition of MIDI right off the bat is a, is a musical instrument digital interface. That's the correct definition. Well, let me show you what, what actually it is. What it is is... Uh, MIDI deals with just simply data. It doesn't have anything to do with audio. So when you're dealing with MIDI, you're only dealing with, you have to have a MIDI controller, which everybody knows what a MIDI controller is. But let me share something with you. If you, you can get a keyboard and a MIDI controller can be a keyboard. Don't think you have to get the, the MIDI controller that, that they sell. That's a hundred and something dollars. If you can find a keyboard that's 40, 30, 40 bucks. Now you can. All you have to do is make sure it has MIDI in and out on the back because all you're going to use, you're just using the actual board of that MIDI, of that keyboard, I'm sorry. So you don't have to buy that expensive MIDI. Uh, you can just get a keyboard that has MIDI in and out. That's all you need. Next thing you need is you need to have a cable that's going to hook hook up your MIDI. And I use the cable. The one I use is, is from M-Audio. And it's any cable that goes into your USB is the one that you want to use because that's easy. The reason why is because Pro Tools, MIDI has a lot of channels that it outputs. Different keyboards might um, output your MIDI in different channels, one, two, three. But Pro Tools accepts all of the channels. If you have this um, cord that is basically a, a USB uh, cord that goes into your USB and then it goes into your keyboard and you have to load it up with the driver and all that But once you finish that you should be able to get MIDI. Okay, let me show you how to do it Once you hook that up Go ahead and open up a template uh, This is a hip-hop template one. I got if you've seen some other videos, you know how to get to it I go to uh, open up new sessions template uh, music hip-hop And this is what you'll this is the mix window. So go here. So what I'm gonna do is they already have things set up for you. So now I'm going to go to this insert. I'm gonna show you some inserts. These are all your MIDI instruments and you need to check all of these out. The Boom, uh, DB33, and we talk about all these in our upcoming videos. But let's just deal with the one I'm dealing with right now, which is the vacuum. All right, so we just wanna see if we have a signal, a MIDI signal. Hopefully you do. This is what you need to do. You need to make sure that your record button is enabled. And then if you have a signal, let's see if I do. There we go. You can't hear that, but as long as you're hitting and you see this right here, that means you're good to go. You got a MIDI signal. So now you can record, but it's not actually recording the sound. It's recording everything that you do on that keyboard. So I can record something and change the sound. I can change it to a different sound and it'll play exactly what I recorded. So that's basically what MIDI is. So if you don't get this signal, uh, my advice to you is you have some kind of problem with your hookup. And you could go to my intermediate MIDI, but my advice to you is to go to your nearest store and take your equipment and just let somebody hook it up for you because it's really difficult if you're not having if you're not getting a MIDI signal. But now we'll talk about how to record in MIDI. Oh, one more thing. When you deal with MIDI, you always want to go with the instrument track. Not a MIDI track, but an instrument track. Uh, because the instrument track is actually MIDI and, and audio. It converts it for you. So if you're dealing with these virtual instruments, which are in your inserts, go ahead and make an instrument track. If you're dealing with a, a external MIDI device, then you have to go MIDI. But if you're dealing with just the MIDI coming from the Pro Tools, which it has enough sounds. I mean, you got like 3,000 sounds, 4,000 sounds. You'll have enough. If you don't have enough sounds, that you're, the, the sounds is not the problem. So I would definitely tell you just to go ahead and deal with the MIDI sounds that they offer you. 
So that should be the way you can hook up MIDI, and that's what I'm, all I'm going to talk about with MIDI for today. Uh, if you have any questions, or if you want to view my other uh, tutorials, beginning, intermediate, or advanced, please go to dshorns.com. If you need a horn section on your track, horn solos, piano chords, piano solos, or help mastering your track, contact me at facebook.com backslash ds.horns or at dshorns at yahoo.com. And please make sure to send me a friend request on Facebook for Pro Tools updates and free plugins.